Hey guys, this is I'm Jason. This is Carla. And this is Getting Lit with the Cups. Yep. Today we're gonna be reviewing Hellfire Hot Sauce Zombie Snot. I'll model it for you so you can talk about your hot sauce. Just got it in the mail the other day. Um, I have already tried it out. This is my first time reviewing it. For YouTube. We've for been, YouTube. Yes. We don't know. We're not that tech I talked savvy about it. as um, Johnny Scoville that does the YouTube and the Facebook. No, we can't do that. Yeah. You know? don't we don't have that technology. But anyways. But uh, I know most people already know what it's got in, but it's got uh, the ingredients are jalapeno pepper blend, which is jalapeno, hot cherry, cayenne, jalokia. Uh, seven pot Maruga Scorpion, Carolina Reaper, water, tomatillos, Granny Smith apples, wow. distilled vinegar, roasted garlic, scallions, serrano pepper blend, serrano hot cherry, cayenne, jalokia, seven pot Maruga Scorpion, and Carolina Reaper, cilantro, sea salt, Lime juice and cumin. That is a lot of ingredients for one sauce, but it has a beautiful green color. Look. And I like that, and I like the, uh, how it's chunky. See? there is just It was just resting against this side, and you could see how chunky it is. And I like the consistency of it. And I like the fact that it has cilantro. I hope... I tasted a little bit, and I gotta be honest, I love the fact that you can taste the cilantro in it. Yeah. I'm a... Heavy... I'm not a fan of cilantro, but when I did do the sauce, I did like it, so... I just love the smell of it. It's, like, so perfectly... It has, like, the smell of cilantro, I but it's see, not tomatillo, overpowering. Tomatillo can I play sock? I was in the middle of a sentence here. Okay. I oh. was just saying, it's like, I love the smell of the cilantro. It's overpowering, but it's not... To overpowering to the point that he hates it. Yeah. Which is good. I can really smell like the tomatillo and the vinegar. Um, I don't really smell the apples. I don't smell the apples, but I do smell the peppers. and I smell the Carolina Reaper in it. And the Maruga Scorpion smell. Just pay, pay really mm. close attention. You could get that tang. Yeah, I could smell the peppers in it, but... Alright. I'll pour. You always talk. Okay, so we're going to see... The consistency slowly being poured in. Did you shake it? Yes, I okay. did. It's a chunk of a sauce. You could have put a little more than that on there. Well, Unless this is how much ahead. I'm having. Because I'm scared of She's not accustomed to real hot sauces, so... And this was a little hot for my taste. Wow. She's just starting out with it, so it ain't. So please be patient with me. Hold on. All Open right. up. I never waste a drop on the bottle, ever. Oop. Do not waste it. You already spilled some right here. Here, boy. Put it back on your spoon. <laughs> All right. So uh, here it goes. This is getting lit with the kips. <sighs> mm. Well, yes, we did prep our stomachs. We did not... Go on it. Cold turkey, because we do not want any cap cramps. It's got good heat. For a verde, well, I don't know if y'all consider it. It's green. It is a verde. But it's got good heat to it. I like the heat. Yeah, it even tells you. Mm. Zombie Snot is our answer to the chili head salsa verde green sauce. This is sanely fresh. It is definitely fresh. Mm -hmm. And tasty? Definitely tasty. Sauce is amped up by using green super hots, including the Carolina Reaper, rounded off with the delicious flavor of the jalapeno. I could taste the jalapeno heat. I could taste the jalapeno and I could taste the scorpion. And serrano peppers. Roasted garlic. I could taste the roasted garlic because you can actually, it has. Yeah. And the cilantro. It's not one of those sauces that is pure heat and you're wondering what it has in it. It's not, there's no guessing game with this sauce. The only thing I don't taste or smell is the Granny Smith apples, which. It's the tartness. Mm. You got the tart in there? Because yeah. Granny Smith's apples are very tart. They're not a flavorful apple like the Golden Delicious or like the Washington apples. Okay. They're more of a tart apple. So it's like it's a citric. 
Yeah, but it's a good burn. Uh, it's got me a little bit in the back of the throat. The a tomatillos is for lift. the texture. Yeah. That's <clears> why <throat> you don't feel the tomatillos. And the cilantro. No, you smell the tomatillos. Yes. Though. But the cilantro, you smell it. It's not such of an overpowering. It has a good taste for cilantro for my taste. For, like, not like um, premonition. Actually, cilantro works with that. Yes. So I don't like cilantro with it. Basically anything too much, no. but it works with this sauce. This is actually right now my favorite sauce. Yeah, this one and Premonition are his two favorite ones, but this one, as far as texture wise, I think it's a little bit thicker and it tastes better than the Premonition to me. Not so much for him. I don't know what you feel towards it, but it also has scallions, which is you know what scallions are, right? Yeah. Those are like I call it the fancy onion. It does add an <clears throat> element of fancy to this. I don't know enough about eating them to really know about the taste or anything. And it has lime juice. Lime juice is actually brought... You know why lime juice is in here? It's to enhance the flavor of the tomatillo. Because tomatillo mm -hmm. needs something citric yeah, to acidity. absorb. Yeah. yeah. So it preserves it and it also adds to the flavor. But it's not overpowering, which is great. And it says this is one of their milder sauces. I'm scared. Mm. I'll definitely be purchasing some of your hotter sauces. Because I do like hot sauces. This I'm gonna be using with a lot of stuff. It's not it's another just, we boring just got green it, sauce. So, yeah. And I'm just reviewing it at the moment. But after this, I will be using it on food. And he'll be crying when it's gone. Yep. But I'll keep the bottle definitely because I'm, I, I'm obsessed with keeping bottles. These bottles are just beautiful. I love the. Not ten chance I'll be ordering it again eventually. Yeah, you see that it looks like a rainbow on it. It's holographic, would you say, Jason? Not holographic, but it's... I Iridescent, that's what the, the name is. Okay. I was looking for the name and I couldn't think of it. But it says it's not a boring green sauce. Definitely not boring. Not boring at all. No, it's like it enjoys the fresh flavor. It does have mm. that one on virtually anything. So, and there's the website right at the bottom. So if you guys want to order it, it is at hellfirehotsauce.com. It is awesome. I love these people. They're based out of Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I absolutely love the flavor of this sauce. I really do. Like, as much as it's burning my mouth, I'll probably, like, use it, like, one dab and then mix it into my food. But not, mm. like, pour it like, like you would Tabasco or ketchup or anything Me, I like pour, that. but I'm going to be conservative with it because I don't want to run out of it that quick. Yeah, we don't want to repeat a premonition. Because now you're out of premonition and he's crying about it. Yeah, but. This he'll definitely use. He will cry about this too, I promise. Yes. It's right. That and premonition are what and what with each other. They're two different flavors. Even though they both oh, have yeah, cilantro. It, I mean, they're different. I ain't even going to compare them. And but I rather. I just, this. I love both of them. I love Troy Primo. Don't get me wrong. He is an awesome man. He is sweet as can be. Great businessman. Local. If you guys were local, I'd support you guys as well. And the owner of <laughs> as much as Hellfire, I do. ain't that, uh, that's Diana? Diana and Merle. And Merle, yeah. The Mariettas, they are complete sweethearts. From what I hear from Julie and Julie Donatelli and everybody that you guys have. Don't know them, but tell you what, with the zombie snide, this is our first product getting from them. They're I, good in my book. Yeah, I'm just looking for their names on Facebook so I can possibly add them. That would be mm. awesome. Yeah, it would. I mean, I would like to add them on mine, too. But, mm -hmm. but then again, it's kind of like a hot shot. They just we, told us our last name. Yeah. I had to ask Julie what your last name was. I'm sorry, Diana, if you are watching this. So it's like, this is a beauty. I can't stop holding it. Here, you <laughs> hold it before I feed you some more. But the heat, it actually just stays. It stays for a little while, but it ain't not, It ain't bad. It's not to the point, like, for non-sauce hot, for a non-hot sauce drinker, I can deal with this heat. I'm putting up with it in my mouth, and it is actually not hurting. But you it is hurting. had that little bit. I had that little bit. But it was more than enough, and I think that's how much I would add to my food. Yeah. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. No, I'd add more. I'd definitely add more. My tolerance is a little more up there than hers. I'm not extreme advanced. I'm not going to sit there... Be able to eat a Carolina Reaper and be okay with it. We're not Johnny. <laughs> Definitely not Johnny so. Scoville. But I really mm. want to send all the shout outs I can possibly do. And thank you, Julie Donatelli, for suggesting 
the zombie the zombie snot. snot. Yeah, really appreciate it. It really is a great sauce. Yeah, I can't wait I till I get it. my Hellfire t-shirt. It's custom ordered, so I have to wait a little bit. But I will be wearing it gladly and proudly as soon, soon as, as I get it. As soon as we get it, it on our uh, next YouTube video and live on Facebook. You'll see me wearing you'll it. You'll see her wearing it. I'll be wearing any product that I get. So if I get a t-shirt from any of y'all, I will definitely you got wear. one to wear. Yes, I do. It's in the washing machine right now. That's why I'm not wearing it. Actually, I have two. I have Johnny Scoville's Chase the Heat. Mm -hmm. And he hoodie. just put it, put it out. Oh, yeah, the shirt. The shirt. Yep, yeah. his hoodie. His hoodie. And I have a Troy Primo Hotter Than the Devil's Pecker yeah. t-shirt. So, anyways, this is all for us. It's not really a long video like our normal videos, but... I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. This is getting lit with the Kips. Y'all have a great day or night or afternoon, whatever time you're watching it. Yes, and don't have forget to subscribe time. and hit the bell button hit for the notifications. like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to be notified for when we post our next video. We appreciate everything. Thank y'all, and... Yep. Peace. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy.